I'm Sandra Runner. I'm the Farm and Community Program Director at Center for Rural Affairs here in Nebraska. And I'm in Nebraska today visiting with SAIR. Uh, Center for Rural Affairs is about a 45 year old uh, nonprofit uh, organization uh, located in Lyons, Nebraska. And we work on uh, issue, issues like farm policy, uh, small business development, and on farming community. Uh, we do direct service work. Uh, in communities across Nebraska and one of the audiences that we've become interested in uh, in recent years and have done a lot of work around are women landowners and farmers and in some of our early work uh, we discovered that resources that are available to other farmers and landowners are not necessarily reaching women as an audience. Um, we also found that women learn better um, in, a, in a peer environment uh, where it's all women in a learning circle where they're learning from one another and women are lot better long-term planners and are very interested in conservation. I, I came on board about five years ago and one of our first projects uh, where I worked with the uh, women farmers is uh, a learning circle project where we worked with women farmers uh, about techniques and tools for farming in a changing and changing climate. Um, the learning circle model worked really well there because many of the women did know each other in the particular area in eastern Nebraska where we were working, but never really had an opportunity to share best, best practices with one another or get on one another's farm because they're so busy farming <laughs> and raising their families. Uh, so uh, that was a really unique project in, in that uh, many of the, the Learning Circle participants were from the same area and knew one another. Um, we did you know, get, get folks to join us from other parts of the state uh, as they saw it advertised and it interests them. But we talked about topics from um, how to access conservation programs to cover crops to how to use hand tools, uh, season extension, post-harvest handling among a lot of other topics uh, that that came up kind of organically within the circle um, and then another that led us to another project as we talked more and more about conservation practices and implementing them on farms to uh, sort of tie our work together with not only women landowners but beginning women farmers uh, to match them up we found that many women non-operator landowners were also interested in conservation practices and, and beekeeping um, and were willing to to help another beginning farmer out, uh, help a beginning woman farmer out by allowing them to place their hives on their property. And so we formed a learning circle around that as well here in Nebraska, uh, teaching practices and talking overall about the uh, different aspects of beekeeping and the business of beekeeping, but also uh, connecting women landowners and women beginning farmers with one another uh, to make those matches through an application process um, and finding a fit for uh, women beekeepers uh, to place their hives on women landowners' land. Working at Center for Rural Affairs has allowed me to create programming around food system and uh, conservation practices and growing practices and working with audiences that I um, feel like we are truly able to make a difference. So um, I get to do that in a variety of ways in the work that we do at the Center.